Okay, so you ready? We're going to go in for our side bend. Okay, for those of us who want less intensity, please keep both knees fully bent, rib cage right up. Don't squash into that beautiful shoulder joint that you have. Hand on your side. Okay, take a nice long in breath. Strengthen through your center, keeping that rib cage in. I want you to lift those hips up, keeping the hips pointing straight ahead for three, four, five, breathing in as you come down. Increase the intensity by extending your top leg. Again, making sure that that hip doesn't roll back, keep it in line. Nice long in breath. Mm -hmm. Strengthen through your center and lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Increase the intensity once more. Extend the bottom leg. Keep a little bend in the knees. Keep the hips pointing straight ahead. Okay, take a nice long in-breath. And lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, one, and lift. Four, three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, one, and up. Four, three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, one, and lift. Feel those obliques working, these muscles in here. Really lifting the opposite side, stretching. Two more. And lift. Keeping the shoulder over the elbow at all times. One more. And lift. Always coming down nice and lightly. Okay, so for those that are higher advanced, keep up, elbow right underneath the shoulder. Bring your bottom leg to the front of the mat, get the top leg up. The rib cage is up again, we're not squashing into that shoulder. Hips are pointing straight ahead. Okay, it's up to you if you want to do this now, please. If you're doing the more advanced position, you must keep that, make sure you don't squash into that shoulder and keep that rib cage up. If not, you can do all of the leg work still down here. Okay, so I'm going to show you from this position, making sure that the hips do not roll back, hand on the ground. Might just have to change that camera slightly. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to bring my bottom leg to the front corner of the mat. Okay, top leg up. Hand on the ground, I'm going to lift one and down. I'm going to flex my foot as I come up and I'm going to point my foot as I come down. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. Okay. Back a little bit. Okay, you ready? Keeping the hips in line, rib cage in, rib cage up. Nice long in breath. Lift one and flex up and keeping the rib cage nice gap between you and the mat, or at least a lift of the rib cage, keeping the shoulder back and the hips pointing straight ahead. Good. And lift. Down. And three. Down. And two, down, and one, down, and hold. I want you to bring that leg as far back as you can. Feel it in the hip flexor, stretch. The hip extends, uh, stretching back, bring it forward. The hip does not move forward or back. It stays exactly where it is. The rib cage stays in and you stay strong. So it's like a long, straight paintbrush. Do not bend at the knee. Two more in this direction. One more in this direction. If you find that you need more support for your lower back, please feel free to bend this bottom knee to give you a little bit more support into the lower back, but also a little bit more stability. Okay, I'm going to keep my leg extended towards the front corner of the mat. From here, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. At any stage, you can stop. Okay? Flex the foot. Keep the hand to the ground, but use your powerhouse to kick that leg forward. So there's absolutely no pressure going into that ground. Kick it. And back. Flex it to come forward. 
point it to come back, flex it to come forward, point it to come back, three, two, one, one more, and back, lovely, those who want to really push it, take that leg back out in front, take the arm up towards the ceiling, lift five, then slow, four, then slow, three, then slow, two, then slow, last one, two, three, four, five, and rest. <sighs> Excuse me for the messages coming in, I forgot to put my phone on flight mode. Okay, but I'm not going to stop the video just for that, right, because you all know me, and I'm not going to get hung up on these little things, right, so... Next thing, we need to do the stretch, right? So I've worked my left side. So if I've worked my left side, then I want to put my left ankle onto my right knee. And I want to stretch into those glutes that I've worked so well. Pick up that right thigh, keeping the right heel up. Draw that right thigh in towards you. So I've taken both my hands, I've wrapped them around my right thigh, and I'm pulling, gently pulling that right leg in towards me. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. And I can feel this gorgeous stretch. That's it. Stretch it out. You can keep that going for a bit. You can keep it going for as long as you want, to be fair now. Okay, but I'm obviously, for the sake of the video, I want to bring you into the next stretch. So I'm going to bring that left leg to tabletop, extend the right leg, put the right hand onto that left knee, Keeping both shoulder blades down, I'm going to go all the way up. And I'm going to hold this stretch for a little while. But I'm not going to keep you hanging on the video, so it's up to you to keep going for as far as you want, okay? But it is important to stretch that area. Okay, when you're finished that stretch, always remember, extend the legs, give them a little bit of a shake, draw the knees into the chest, and up we come. Thank you.